Twitter user Eldar Glorfindel recorded something interesting during his trip to Praia do Sossego in Niteroi with his friends. While waiting for the Uber, a goat walked past them. Bored of waiting, Eldar decided to record the animal. After the video was published, many people wrote in the comments about something else he managed to capture. In the video, we actually see a goat, but also a certain figure of a woman who looks quite creepy. Is it a real ghost or just some lady? Decide, folks. The next video is from the channel Franco TV, where this time Franco went to Florida to one of his most favorite cemeteries, where he managed to record the mysterious figure of an elderly woman. After nightfall, Frank entered the graveyard and began his exploration. But after a dozen or so minutes, a large number of people entered the area and Frank was forced to go to another nearby cemetery which he also knows well. In this area, he managed to record a chair then moved by itself. Alright, so I'm now making it to where all the graves are at. And walking through here, you can already tell it's pretty quiet. Anything starts crawling through here, I'll hear it. Now I think further up here, there should be a mausoleum. As Frank walked through the area in the bushes in front of him, the viewers noticed something terrifying. Unaware, Frank was watched by mysterious glowing eyes, which people noticed and wrote in the comments. He then continued until he recorded something spooky as hell. Take out the K2. Marco! Marco! It's getting colder too. Can you try to turn off the flame for me so I know who I'm talking to? Or move the light with the red box? Or the little light with the green box or the green light on the K2? Do you like the full moon outside? Let me know you could talk to me or that you're here with me. I heard the moon makes spiritual connections a lot more easier and you get more of an activity. Who's that? Hello? Are you the one that I'm talking to? Hello? What was that? Hold on. I don't know if that was like a, a raccoon or something. Or an animal. This time, Frank encountered probably the same apparition as before, only this time he saw the entity. For a few seconds, something bizarre with glowing eyes stares at Frank, but when he decides to check what it is, the figure disappears without a trace. What was really following him that night? Was it a demon or an animal? Was the cemetery once again proved to be haunted? As always, folks, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this creepy investigation, visit his YouTube channel, Franco TV. The Church of the Dead is an Anglican church near the village of Stansted Mountfitchet. It is recorded in the National Heritage List for England and is designated a Grade II listed building and was once under the care of the Church's Conservation Trust. It stands about one mile to the southeast of the village in the grounds of Stansted Hall. The church was built between 1120 and 1124 by William Mount Fitchett. The building has survived to this day. As you might expect, the building is quite an active place. Former worshippers have been heard voices and whispering coming from the pews. Shadowy figures have also been photographed 
and until now, ghost hunters have been forbidden from investigating the church. But Jeff and Phil from the channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations managed to gain access only for themselves. But just before leaving, something strange happened to Jeff. Just before going out, behind his ear, blood began to flow. And when it stopped, it left a small hole and something resembling a cross. After these experiences, the men went to the church during the day where they managed to capture this. As I was saying, it allows people like us to come in and enjoy the beauty of the church. and to look into the history. And that's one of the reasons why we're trying to talk to you, to find out what your story is. So as my friend Jeff said, could you make yourself known, either by talking to us, shouting your name, or banging on something, or moving something? Could you do that now for me, please? footsteps yeah there's no one else around here not even outside there's no one for a you know it's just countryside there's no one around here that was footsteps inside on the floor and it was right down there at the back where the door is on the right yeah in the north north entrance while attempting to make contact during the day, Jeff and Phil heard distinct footsteps coming from a short distance away. After this incident, investigators waited for the night and began their investigation after dark. Hello? Can you hear us? As they both walk towards the altar, sounds are heard next to them, and moments later their static camera captures something chilling. In the chapel, we can see a shadow figure moving there for a few seconds. Is it a real ghost caught on camera in a haunted church, or is there a much simpler explanation? You are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode and many more, visit their YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Ricky Velasquez is a popular YouTuber who attracts huge numbers of people during his live broadcasts, who with him explore abandoned and haunted places throughout Mexico. This time, together with a group of other people and another YouTuber from the Museo del Horror channel, he decided to go to the abandoned house of Lonely Amina. Upon arrival, the entire team began by examining each room. Breathe, bro. What's that? Thank you, thank you. No way. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Oh, 
Buenas pinches cosas. No, güey, no mames, güey, no mames. Ah, oh, la bestia, güey, no mames. Eh, hey, ¿ver eso es normal? No, güey, no, 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 no. Then everyone gathered in one of the rooms where they decided to communicate with the spirit through the Ouija board, where during the session they managed to record something goddamn scary. Dice la gente que hay algo ahí en la esquina. ¿Dónde? El cursor debe de estar aquí. Bueno, cuídame esto. Ten, 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 ten. Pues de lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a llamar, no a lo que nos conteste, no a lo que hay aquí, sino a lo que específicamente está contigo, a lo que te llevaste. Uh, lo vamos a traer de regreso y lo vamos a dejar aquí. Lo vamos a dejar en su lugar para que te suelte a ti principalmente, algo que no es sencillo. Pero esta no te va a ocurrir. Una vez que tú sientas el contacto, tienes que soltarlo. No, no te quedes rígida, no sientas miedo, no te quedes pasmada. Suéltalo, empieza a liberarlo, empieza a soltarlo. ¿sí? Eh, una vez que tú sientas que ya está en contacto con nosotros, suéltalo, libéralo. No, 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 no. Hola. No, no, se siente horrible. No, no. Tienes que cerrarlo, yo creo que tienes que cerrarlo. ¿eh? Yo creo que tienes que cerrarlo, Alex. Okay. ¡Para, güey! ¡No mames, güey! ¡Alex, Alex! ¡Alex! Alex, Alex. 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 ¡No, güey! ¡Alex! ¡Ah, oh, no te pases, güey! ¡No, no, güey! ¡No, güey! ¡Ahí no, está una niña, güey! ¡Ahí güey! ¡Ahí estaba, güey! ¡No mames, güey! ¡No, güey! ¡Hay que... Ay, hay que cerrar esto, güey. No, Alex. Alex, Alex no. Ciérralo, Alex. Ya, ciérralo. Ciérralo, ciérralo. Ciérralo, ciérralo, ciérralo ya, ciérralo ya, güey. Este, güey, yo no vi, güey. No, mames, güey, no. Yo no vi, güey. ¿Qué viste? ¿Qué vi? Mm. Right next to them manifested the spirit of a little girl that the group heard all the time. After Ricky notices the figure, he gets scared to the point that he collapses. But when he turns the camera back on the apparition, it disappears without a trace. Then they managed to record something paranormal in a haunted building somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Did they really capture the spirit of the child, or is it just a little girl helping them backstage? So, folks, it's up to you to decide. This time we're going with Omar from the YouTube channel Omar Gosh TV, who, along with Casey and Colton from MindSeed TV, decided to go together to a place called The Conjuring Cabin. In 1839, Richard Myers, a successful banker, was determined to build his dream home in Georgia. On a secluded piece of land with unmarked graves, despite the fact that the area was known to be cursed by an evil that was conjured some years before, he purchased the land anyways and began construction over the graves of the town's dead. The construction went well, but strange things started happening as soon as Richard and his family moved into the house. Richard tried to have his local pastor bless the house, but the spirits only became angrier and started tormenting him and his family. One night during a thunderstorm, lightning struck the house, killing Richard and destroying the building. In a process, his family fled and never returned. After years of the land being abandoned, a new family built a home where the original one once stood. But a new family experienced the same horrors as Richard and eventually left the house asking for it to be destroyed. However, the dark entity that lived in the basement was not satisfied. It continued to haunt the house, seeking revenge on those who dared to build on its graves to this day. Many of Omar's viewers asked him to go to this place. Finally, the opportunity presented itself, and together with Casey and Colton, they decided to conduct a nightly investigation there. So we were all running our devices and trying to see if we could get some kind of activity come through. What did it say? It said it's mine. It's mine. What's yours? Is it the house? That sounded like a kid. Look, you got bunk beds in here. It's like a kid's room. So we're upstairs on the landing, like the very top of the steps. And Casey's startled, I'm startled. I turn around and I know for a fact my camera caught it. Not what I envisioned. This. Oh, what the fuck was that? No, 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 no,
What the? There was a really loud noise coming from downstairs. What just happened. Should we go down there? The scary part was the minute that we looked down to see what it was, you could hear clear as day, audible footsteps running and nobody was down there. Audible stuff is one thing, but there was like a light coming out of the room and you could see the light just disappear. Like whatever was down there ran in and shut the door behind it. It was horrifying. From the very beginning, mysterious activity began to manifest itself to the three ghost hunters. Mysterious sounds, moving objects, or a rather creepy situation in which all three experienced phantom footsteps that was just the beginning of a night full of surprises and horror. So this is where you want me. Here I come. I think it's just a street light. Not that big of a deal, but I am hearing voices out here. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and see if I can hear anything on camera. Okay, no, 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 no. That sounded like something just growled at me. I'm good. That was like close and it sounded like a fucking growl. I'm straight. If any of you are trying to startle me or you're trying to communicate with me, I can hear you moving over there. All right, I'm in here. Okay. Hello? Is anyone in here? The three of them decided to split up, which wasn't a smart move. Each of them was in a different place and each experienced something strange. Colton heard a disturbing noise from the barn. Is your name Tim? Oh no. Casey, who was staying near the cemetery, heard a terrifying groan of something inhuman. while Omar, who was left alone at home unaware, recorded something chilling. Entering one of the rooms in the children's bed, we can notice a sheet in which someone is standing. Then the sheet falls down and Omar goes downstairs where they all meet together. The team is sharing their experiences when suddenly... Oh man, I'm good. No, okay. Omar. Yeah, man, not by myself. Jenga over there in the corner completely just like, it just got destroyed. Something happened with him here in the barn. He's talking, I mean, it's like we're all talking at once. Casey comes rushing in and he's got something to say. As I was explaining to them what I had witnessed at the cemetery, I look up and I saw this figure. It was like a head looking out of the room on the top landing. Something looked like it was looking around that doorway right there. You saw something? Yeah. Come out! Come out right now! Oh. 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 What just happened? Dude, look! The door! The door! I'm leaving. Whatever was up there just and charged us. You could hear it running down and by the time it hit the bottom of the steps, it was like this force just like hit my chest. I've been to a thousand different places, super haunted places. I've never felt something feel like an explosion in my chest. Once inside, Casey notices a dark figure at the top of the stairs. Unfortunately, he fails to capture it. Then something goddamn scary happens. All three hear the sound of phantom footsteps coming down the stairs. And when the sound passes them, an unknown force pushes back with great force. After what they experienced, they don't think twice. They just run away from the building as quickly as possible. So folks, what really happened that night in the Conjuring Cabin? Is this place really as dangerous as the stories say? Did the three of them experience unexplained paranormal phenomena during their investigation that are difficult to explain? Were they really attacked by a demon near these stairs, or was everything we saw just a well-prepared hoax? 
As always, folks, choose wisely. Also, if you want to watch the entire episode and much more, visit his YouTube channel, Omar Gosh TV. The next short video is from the channel Caballero Paranormal, which went live to an abandoned building where the devil lives. During one of the rituals, he managed to record something chilling. Vamos! Uy, uy. Me tienes miedo, ¿verdad? Uy, cabrón. No me temas. Vamos, una vez por todas, materialízate. Ay, hijo de su pinche madre. Eso. Así menos. Materialízate. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? No mames. Hijo de su pinche madre. No mames. ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás, maldito? Ay, güey. No seas mamón. No seas mamón, no seas mamón. No seas mamón. No seas mamón. As he summons the apparition to show himself, something appears behind the glass door. At some point, a dark horned silhouette of the devil emerges from the ground, where it disappears after a few seconds. The man quickly goes to check where the demon has disappeared. But the mysterious silhouette has vanished without a trace. Did he manage to summon the devil during a live broadcast, or is it just a hoax? You decide, folks. YouTuber from the channel PN Paranormal traveled to the Dumas Brothel, located on the outskirts of western Montana, to investigate the lingering ghosts of miners who lost their lives to mining, gambling, and murder. What'd you see? I'm trying to see where I want to put the corner. Oh, yeah. Just now we just capture an unexplained voice that is saying hello. Here's a replay with enhanced audio. Left this camera roll. We're going to take this upstairs, put it in that hallway, and just let it roll. Then we got this probably hanging out downstairs and just kind of. Eat some snacks or something. Alright. And just kind of like let, let, uh, let the. You're touching that, yeah. What's that? Oh, I was like, dang it, you're touching it. <laughs> I thought I was like, yeah. Oh, and I finally get it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna like, we're just gonna like leave it upstairs in this lab. While in the building, Harold recorded an interesting EVP. Right after that, he managed to catch something even more interesting. Around the corner, we can see something. The dark head leans out and looks at the man. Did they manage to capture a real shadow figure in a haunted building, or is it easily debunked? Decide, folks. Our good friend from the Middle East, Ihab Kashmea, went to the city of Jabal al-Jin for the first time. Where is the supposedly haunted building that has been abandoned for many years? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa hayat Allah ikhwan barra murab akthar min libyut. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'll be the word of Allah. 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 I'll
بعرفوا يا اخوان الحلو بهيك شيء انه واحد بفعت ما طلعوا ما بسم الله الرحمن بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 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 While exploring the building, he enters the kitchen where a ghost appears right behind him. In the window, we can see a child's face which disappears just as it appeared. Ihab immediately goes outside, but he fails to find anyone. He searches the area until suddenly. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم He goes to the window where he captured the ghost where he notices a dark head which hides quickly after being spotted After all that he have has seen he has had enough and leaves the haunted area Did he record anything mysterious during his nightly exploration is the figure of the child in the window and the one recorded inside real ghosts or maybe just little helpers and a hoax let me know in the comments below. Sergey and Anastasia from the Topi channel this time went to the cemetery which they visited several times in the past. Upon arrival at the site, they set up equipment and cameras. During the night, one of them captured something interesting. The camera registers two strange anomalies. First, we see an apparition leaning out of the trees, and a few seconds later, a dark entity flying out of one of the graves and disappearing into the sky. Are these phenomena real ghosts or something else entirely? Paranormal or not, decide. The last video is from the YouTube channel Supernatural, who went to another abandoned building in China that is allegedly haunted by the ghost of a woman. Tagandu 啊出来来带着屋卖带着屋出来感谢我风水卖老我妹妹啊哎呀操你妈带着屋你出来了操你妈谁躲谁人了我操 
谁躲谁儿子？操他妈的！来，看看天上有没有。好，来，继续啊！这回我把门关上，铁子们啊！这回我把门关上啊！哎呀，操你妈的！谁也别出去啊！哥哥别这么搞，没事儿。啊、哦，风吹麦郎妹妹，没事儿。老妹儿啊，你抓着玩儿双喜官方了，但是哥非常感谢你，你能不能刷点热门礼物？老妹儿，加上吧。双喜官方了，这玩意儿了。啊、哦，我就跟他对着干啊！战争是必须的。哎，哎，我操！来。The apparition of a woman appears to him twice. In both cases, the spirit disappears after it comes into contact with men. But that was not the end of the phenomena. Once again, the man meets the ghost, this time literally face to face. The apparition appears right before his eyes, and just as it mysteriously appeared, vanishes into thin air. The ghost hunter decides to stay inside a little longer and records this. I'm going to burn it. It's the same thing. Yes. 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 点不着啊！看着这顶儿没？看着顶儿没，兄弟们？操的！必须扫谁？必须烧了，兄弟们啊！啊啊啊啊！我操！我操你妈！ Once again, he manages to capture the ghost of a woman who apparently haunts his every step. Did he manage to get a real ghost on camera in a haunted building, or was all we saw just a hoax? Decide, folks.